economic recession, political polarization, religious tension and wars in the Middle East, unstable borders, unemployment, underemployment, and a widening gap between the haves and the have-nots. Sound familiar? I've just described the situation in the Roman Empire in the mid-third century, 1800 years ago, when Christianity was illegal and the church was persecuted. And yet the Christian church converted that empire and changed the world for the better. I'm Jim Papandrea, and my friend Mike Aquilina and I have written a new book called Seven Revolutions, How Christianity Changed the World and Can Change It Again. The seven revolutions are seven gifts that Christianity gave to the world that led to improved quality of life and the recognition of human rights. The church literally changed the way the world saw the individual, the family, the dignity of labor, religion, community, death and dying, and government. Before the church influenced the world, the worst sins you can think of were business as usual. But Christianity changed all that. The Christian Church gave humanity a way to critique injustice, oppression, and the violation of human rights. But as Mike and I talked about these things, we began to wonder whether the world was coming full circle, whether the influence of the Church on the world was diminishing, and whether the world was beginning to look more like the world in which Christianity was persecuted. We explore these questions in Seven Revolutions and we give the reader a concrete way forward in the 21st century. The historical meets the practical as we learn from the example of the faithful in the early church. And in a time when persecution of Christianity is alive and well in this world, and even in our own country, where various kinds of persecution take the form of pressure to relinquish religious freedoms, you'll see how remembering the ways in which the early Christians changed the world is going to be increasingly relevant if we want to continue to change the world for the better. So pick up a copy of Seven Revolutions, How Christianity Changed the World and Can Change It Again.